Okay, so I've been playing the Colosseum update for Elden Ring for a little bit now, and I've been having a pretty fun time with it so far. It's very casual. Really, the only game mode that I've messed around with is the um, one with six people. So you can do free-for-all, or you can do a team mode, and team mode, it's 3v3, and free-for-all, it's everyone for themselves, basically. Now, what I like is that the arena is pretty large, but it's not... I don't feel like it's too large, um, but you definitely have spells that can cover the entirety of the arena, so that might be a little bit of a problem, because you're never really safe um, with, you know, completely from magic users, so that's a problem. Also, the Dragon Breath spells can be problematic, and just in general, there's a lot of spells that um, are cause for concern. but. I, I really like 3v3 mode regardless, just because it's kind of stupid, ridiculous fun, right? It's nothing serious at all. And the reason I didn't bother trying like 1v1s or 2v2s is because I just figured it was going to be a lot more competitive and people were going to be taking it a lot more seriously than, you know, the 3v3 mode. And also, with the 3v3, there's not as much emphasis on you in particular doing well you can kind of just bank off of your teammates just bringing in op stuff because i haven't really played elden ring in a while so i i first of all i forgot the controls <laughs> so i had to relearn them and then also i don't really have a build to use really so you know i kind of just um chose a character basically and was like ah whatever just try it out why not and it's pretty fun right so definitely think it's worth trying out um, it's uh, just a really fun time I don't know about once again 1v1 or 2v2 I do want to mess around with the spirit summons in Kaelid because that seems like another just really stupid fun time so I'm interested in that but the 3v3 mode is um, pretty fun. Also, the free-for-all one is also pretty fun. Um, and you can also have just ridiculous things happen in pretty much every every mode. You know, you have people spamming Ash of Wars that cover the entire arena, like the Bolt of Grand Sacks, or, you know, people using the moon. You know, so all, it's just a really fun time in general. Very spammy, of course, right? Because you've got a bunch of people using magic and all this kind of stuff just covering the entirety of the arena, and uh, it's pretty fun, right? Kind of just, uh, if you don't take it seriously, it's fun. If you're trying to take this seriously, you're not going to have a good time, and obviously you should probably just stick to 1v1s or uh, 2v2s, right? But if you're just trying to hop on for a silly, fun time, then this is good enough, right? And we weren't really able to do that before, because... Duels, obviously, are, like, very competitive, and same thing with, um, invasions. Invasions are also very competitive and pretty stressful. Same thing with duels, they can get pretty stressful as well. This is just kind of stupid fun, there isn't any stress involved, right? You just kind of hop in, queue up, people join, and you just kind of go to town, right? So, I like it for that reason, and if you do want... A more competitive thing than you've got your you know the 1v1 game mode and also there's they do allow you in the coliseum in limgrave to use your um uh flat wondrous physic flask but i think the one in lane dell doesn't so it's more restrictive and kaled allows you to use spirit summons so the different arenas have a different purpose to them which i think was a really good idea there isn't any Sites of Grace, so you have to go to the Round Table Hold if you want to get to them, like, quickly. So, that's also a very important information, which they don't really explain to you, to be honest, which is kind of dumb, because I was like, do you seriously have to just go to the nearest Site of Grace every time you want to go to the Coliseum? But you don't have to, you just go to the um, Round Table Hold, so very important to know. But yeah. The Colosseum update is pretty good. It's, it's a really good free update. So, But hopefully we still see some hints at a DLC at the Game Awards. Who knows? Maybe we won't. But anyways, that's 
pretty much everything I wanted to say. Good update.